First of all, I would like to thank you the opportunity to share with you uh, on behalf of the Mexican government and on behalf of President Peña Nieto that, uh, that our country will host between December the 2nd and December the 17th, as it was mentioned by the Minister of Norway, we will be hosting the, the COP13 of the CBD and obviously we would like to share an invitation to you. Now, if you allow me, I would like to, speak, to switch to Spanish to go through a, a very quick presentation. La biodiversidad. Biodiversity has a very close relationship with human well-being, which provides goods and services that are absolutely crucial, as, for example, oxygen, water, food, energy, medicine, fibers, raw materials, and also protection against pests and illnesses, amongst other things. Forests that cover one-third of the Earth's surface on the planet, and from them depend about 1.6 million people. Economically speaking, in certain countries, forests account for over 10 percent of the gross domestic product. It is estimated that uh, the in the formal forestry sector employs about 13 million people throughout the world, but also at least 41 million people work in the informal sector. At present, we're faced with a huge global challenge concerning the loss of biodiversity, and this is something that undoubtedly challenges present generations and those to come. At the end of 2014, the fourth edition of the Global Diversity Outlook recognized that uh, in spite of the fact uh, that several advances have been made, some of which significant in the implementation of the Aichi targets, uh, these uh, advances will turn out to be insufficient. Uh, and uh, we do call for the adoption of additional measures in order uh, to comply with the Strategic Plan for Biodiversity 2011-2020. One example of this is the total forest cover in the past decades decreased by about 3 percent, and annually over 13 million hectares are deforested worldwide. In this regard, it's absolutely crucial to double efforts in order to be able to achieve the international biodiversity targets, and we need the following in order to do that. One, greater coordination between public policies and the actors in society. We also need to create greater synergies between international agreements and arrangements on the environment, specifically those that um, address climate change, biodiversity, and desertification. Also, we need to have better accountability and efficiency in the use of financial resources that are allocated to biodiversity. As evidence of Mexico's engagement towards biodiversity, between the 2nd and the 17th of December 2016, we will be hosting the 13th meeting of the Conference of the Party, COP30, of uh, the Agreement on the, on the Convention of Biological Diversity, the 8th Conference of the Parties of the Cartagena Protocol, and the 2nd Conference of the Parties of the Nagoya Protocol. Uh, the um, theme of COP13 for us is uh, biodiversity mainstreaming for well-being, and that's because we firmly believe that that, uh, as it was um, suggested in Agenda 2030, it may be possible to achieve adequate balance between economic prosperity, social development, uh, and the sustainability of uh, ecosystems along with their biodiversity. Before the inauguration of COP13 on the 2nd and 3rd of December, Mexico will organize a high-level segment where, for the very first time in the history of this international forum, we have invited not only the ministers of the environment of the various countries, but also those who are responsible for four sectors that are absolutely fundamental for the conservation and sustainable use of biodiversity. And these sectors are agriculture, forestry, fisheries, and tourism. And I'm very glad to inform you today that as of today, we already have confirmation from 70 ministers who will be with us at that event. 
In a very special way, I'd like to um, lay emphasis on the forestry segment. Uh, and uh, indeed, uh, approximately 80% of the terrestrial biodiversity may be found in the forests of our planet. Now, this discussion will be, or will prove to be, a valuable opportunity in order to exchange uh, successful experiences uh, and advance towards uh, the mainstreaming and integration of uh, biodiversity criteria in the productive sectors, that, and all of these will be expressed in a ministerial declaration. Mainstreaming biodiversity in these uh, areas uh, calls for coordinated work with those in charge of policies in each sector. It will also call for broad collaboration with the private sector and other sectors, and also being able to identify uh, successful cases and best practices globally in order for us to have a successful meeting in Cancun, it is crucial to rely on the political will and cooperation of all, including indigenous peoples, local communities, academia, civil society, the private sector, and national as well as local governments. We wish to very respectfully ask you to kindly share with us successful experience you may have accrued in mainstreaming biodiversity criteria in sectoral public policies. At the path towards COP13 will include a number of national and international meetings which have prepared and will continue to pave the way to inputs for decisions that will be adopted in COP13. One example is this very meeting of COFA where we recognize broadly the extremely important work carried out by FAO, specifically in the forestry sector. COP13 will be an opportunity to recognize the integral role played by biodiversity in the functioning of forestry ecosystems and for us to take urgent measures in order to decrease forest loss and also to promote a sustainable use through mitigation and climate change adaptation strategies, the development of sustainable forestry practices, the fostering of incentives for conservation, and also the sustainable use of forestry resources. It is a great honor for Mexico being able to um, host the 13th uh, COP Conference of the Parties on biological on the, on the Convention on Biological Diversity, and we really do uh, hope to have you with us in December in Cancun. And if you allow me now, I'd like to show you a short video showing Mexico's engagement and uh, the wealth that we have, which has made us uh, one of the countries with the greatest biodiversity throughout the world. Thank you.